Are the bugs and errors in Marvel Strike Force getting better or worse? Is another course correction needed to deliver that world-class experience that we all deserve? In this video, we're talking about the latest bugs and compensation for the current event and what you need to be aware of, the alarming trend with some of these errors and why there could be some hope for all of us in the horizon. So if you're ready for all of that, find that like button, you know what to do. Let's go smash it. Alley flying. Hello, hello, hello. What is up, Valley Club? I am Valley Flying. Welcome back to the Valley Flying channel. Hope you're having a great day. And if this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button for more great Marvel Strike Force content. We have at least five Marvel Strike Force videos per week on this channel. If you want to get the latest on all these bug reports, top 10 lists, news updates, mailbag questions, well, this is the place to find all that stuff. And if you've already subscribed, welcome back. We're talking about the latest bugs in this video. So let's get right into it. Latest on the website here, compensation for blitz and horseman harvest orb drops. And this was posted today, but this is uh, referring to yesterday. At 2 p.m. Pacific, the web milestones blight barrage event was not rewarding for points for blitz unless it was manually played. Some of the rogues gallery nodes that showed the drops for the horseman harvest orb fragments were not dropping fragments as intended. Both issues have been fixed. Compensation players will receive tomorrow, which should be today. I know the date says October 4th. I believe that this post was put up yesterday, though. So hopefully we get all this stuff today. 400 Blitz charges to make up for that Blitz error. 200 campaign energy. Hopefully that's enough for some players to make up that campaign energy that may have been spent on these nodes that should be awarding the harvest, horseman harvest orb fragments. And then some horseman harvest orb fragments themselves a thousand of them which is not a full orb there but it, it's it's something there now let's go into the game and talk about what exactly these milestones mean so first thing here uh you're getting points for opening or earning horseman harvest orb fragments there's two ways you could get them you get them on the web milestones which you could get points for in blitz and extra points for using your young avengers also you're getting points for spending campaign energy now where do you need to go to spend campaign energy it is not on every single node i went over this in yesterday's video but i didn't want to go over this again because i know some people are trying to spend on this and are not getting the points they need so the best place to go is to this actual horseman harvest orb itself go to the get go to open even if you don't have any and then once you click on open and you don't have any you'll get this find button and here you will see all the listed sources of these uh horseman harvest orb fragments so it's a decent orb and if you notice there's some or uh, some uh, nodes that cost 12 energy some that cost 10 and if you look this 10 is uh, uh just 12 is awarding a little bit more of these fragments now the rest of the stuff in this node not very good if unless you already if unless you don't have miles here this is probably not one that you're going to farm anyway but this is one that you may want to take a look at because this is awarding this is costing 10 awarding only 20 of these this is costing 12 and awarding 40 of these and there's a lot of scenarios like this, like some of these character shards, like this Green Goblin one, uh, you could get more points for. Now this 20 is actually equal to this uh, 10 here, but if we look at some of these other nodes like Jessica Jones, you're getting more points. So if you're looking for total value, you may wanna farm some of these nodes that award these 12, even if you don't need these character shards, even if you don't need any of this gear. And if you're just looking for a decent value, then uh, there's some of these nodes like Squirrel Girl 16. You're still getting the same points as 20. And then the normal ones are these 10 cost ones and then the stuff that I'm already farming there. So that is some tips for this event. Now we should be getting that compensation for the errors very, very soon. But I do wanna go back to a blog post from the 8th of July talking about these errors. There's a major error around this time for the Summer of Blunder event that uh, some players got Jane Foster for free, Jane, those, all those Jane Foster milestones. And 
What they did say at this time, we strive to offer the best possible experience. We've fallen short of delivering that recently, and it seems like this could have been written today, many months later, many months after this July uh, post went out. We're in October now and still dealing with the same issues. The, the, the leadership and development team is currently auditing our process, working quickly to address the weak links in the chain that contributed to a recent number of problems. I don't know if any of those have been addressed, guys. These are just issues. These issues are learning experience for the team and changes are being made to address the weak spots. This included, but not limited to. There, so it seems like they're getting a lot of learning experiences. Although with, with these learning experiences, some of these bugs, especially these bugs with this most recent event seems to have taken place before so i'm not sure if they're learning from these experiences or just learning how to communicate better when these bugs go live or how to get this compensation delivered a little quicker when those goes live but does obviously they're not learning from these experiences if these same bugs keep reoccurring so what they said at the time improved testing quality re testing requirements for quality assurance longer lead times more rig around data implementation i'm not sure if they have longer lead times uh because it seems that that case of these characters being pushed out is still very very quick development of additional tools to mitigate these errors i'm not sure if these tools have been developed yet so let's go to the scopely website for the known issues this is probably the quickest place to get answers if uh, things are going on in the game that are reported or not this is on a scopely.com website here uh, so the horseman the crate the orb was not in the store so the horseman harvest orb originally when the event went live was not in the store it just got this big error message it looks like it is solved now which is why we saw that in the game but initially it was not there future shock web milestone release issues so the team is aware that the future shock spider booster web milestone became available before the event started so if we go to those web milestones here see it's a pretty decent milestone left uh milestone and what you need to do is spend power cores. So spending 50 power cores every day, which during the Spider Weaver event going on, if, if you're refreshing those nodes, you should be doing that anyway. If you're refreshing campaign nodes, spending these 50 cores, so very easy to get. Uh, a little more expensive for those one core offers for the same thing like we've gotten in previous events before the abomination went live but it awards these spider pleasure genes for this major milestone and then some of these orbs to get more uh spider-man 2099 shards so this actually went live on october 2nd but the milestones for this actually went live on a third so if you claimed it on the second and there was no milestone that popped up well you did not get uh, to claim those points towards that month long milestone. The team is aware they're discussing the issue f uh, further. The Phantom X offer, there looks like there's a Phantom X offer that said you're gonna get 50 shards, but 75, so more, more offers that are not going well, not being offered as intended. And then there's some issues with Android. So Android account recovery issue. They're aware there's an issue about missing account progress. You're facing this issue. Please try to try restarting Marvel Strike Force app. If you're restarting it does not work, kindly sign out and sign into your Google Play Store account. Thank you for your patience. Apologize for the inconvenience. So yeah, this is this is some pretty inconvenient stuff. Let me go to this Reddit post. There is some language in this, so uh, be aware of that. You may want to close your eyes. I won't say it out loud though. Uh, but seriously, who would have thought putting milestones on the website would be a good idea? I have to close my game, go there to open my stuff, click every message, game crashes, reload, check if I finish milestones, go back in a game, go back to website, very, very annoying. Yeah, so I apologize for the language in this, but this goes to illustrate that many players are facing this. 199 upvotes uh, just 15 hours ago, so it appears that a lot of players are facing this issue on Android. Uh, hopefully there is some relief for that very, very soon, and... Uh, yeah, tie, tying these milestones to the web when the web store isn't working properly is uh, kind of shady in my opinion, or, or maybe not shady, but it's, it's scummy. It's not the best look. All right, next, let's talk about all of these uh, errors that have been taking place. So let's just look from September 1st, and if we look at these messages before September 1st, there was some game crashes or errors of, uh, or messages of errors and bugs and things like that. But let's just look at September 1st. So September 1st starts right here. Well, this I would say is is, is planned, but it is kind of an error because uh, you're not being able to use the game if you have an older operating system. So there's one. 
Uh, we have another one here. More bugs, the Red Hulk, Spider-Verse tags, a raid event, release notes. I won't count that one. Uh, issues with 6.4, I will count that one because this is a whole post dedicated to new issues, including that find button error that went live with 6.4. War drums, that was a normal Friday post, but more issues here, that is four. Or Scourge is not working as intended for their flagship Scourge event, that is number five. Vendors Tower, this was their normal blog post. And then number six, Golden Opportunity had some errors there. Destin Connections and Scourges. More release notes for 6.41, which was addressing a lot of issues in the 6.4. So that is number seven. Four issues, four more issues. That is number eight. Number nine is an offer issue. Those were those 5,000 cores there. And uh, this is the normal blog post. Number nine right here, where we're going to get those 5,000 cores. And we're already into August here. And both the blog posts, one and two, are both about errors going on in the game. So I guess the good thing here, the positive of this, is that the devs are communicating more. They're, they're not just relying on a Scopely website, the help website of this. They're actually communicating more and giving us more information. The downside is uh, there's a lot more errors that they're having to communicate on. So uh, it, there's good and bad there, but there may be some hope for the future, guys. On the LinkedIn website, it looks like Scopely, they have a job posting for a quality assurance tester. Uh, I know some of you guys on the stream this morning did apply for this position. Looks like there's over 200 applicants, though. This was posted four weeks ago. And about the job, this is a senior QA tester, critical function with the QA and deployment team. Very, very important. It looks like this was something that's missing. So if you are interested in improving things over at Scopely and Boundless, well, you're gonna need some of these requirements here. What you'll need to do though, is experience working in a development environment, managing relationships with both internal and external cross-functional teams, ability to communicate in a clear, concise manner, both written and verbally, proactively identify risks, changes needed to execute solutions with an appropriate sense of urgency. This is very important because they're not coming to you with bugs. You need to go find these bugs. You need to be proactive if you want this position, guys. Uh, passion for mobile game and experience working on games as a live service and exceptional attention to detail. This must have been missing from their previous job postings, but the good thing is, it does look like hope is on the way. Hopefully they fill that QA position uh, soon. Hopefully some of these bugs get solved. I'm glad they're communicating more, but I'd rather them communicate on game issues and not bugs and errors uh, that they have to get a little bit of compensation for. So compensation for the Rogues Gallery event should be coming very, very soon. Hopefully it is today and could get you back on track. I do like that some of these issues though, they're solving very quickly, whereas others like the fine button, they still took a very long time to fix. But hope it could be on the way, guys. And yes, I'm looking forward to that. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button, hit that subscribe button, because like I said, at least five Marvel Strike Force videos per week on this channel. And if you haven't already checked me out on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, make sure you check me out on there. I'm on Twitter a lot. And if you have a question, uh, usually I can answer on Twitter a lot quicker than I can on a YouTube video. And I know some of you guys are asking, this is a, a magnet for my cauliflower ear to have a competition in jujitsu coming up in less than two weeks. So I'm trying to get this thing healed. So that is what that is for. But I will see you guys next time. I'm gonna be back tomorrow on the live stream on Twitch. And we have another video scheduled. So I will see you then. Have a great rest of your day. Stay positive. Check out some of the links down below, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Give me that Hulk fist bump before you go, though. Valley Flan out. Have a great one, guys.